Hey guys, welcome to Proud Animator. In this video, we are going to learn how to animate lip sync in After Effects. So these are the lip illustrations which we are going to use in this lesson. So in this illustration, the lips are properly listed with numbering and the pronunciation and lip position. And here there is another illustration file with all the lip positions together. We are going to use this file for lip sync animation and here you can see that the lip positions are separated at each of the layers for animation. So we are going to import both the illustration files in After Effects. And I have also provided the illustration files so that you can try it on your own. So go check it out. You can get the link in the description. So download it from there and follow on with the lesson. And now let's jump into After Effects. Let's create a new composition. Name the composition. We are going to keep the resolution 1920 is to 1080. Keeping the frame rate as 30 FPS. Press OK. Let's import the illustration file. So for that, double click on the project panel. Select both this illustration file. Change this from footage to composition, weight and layer size. Press on import. We're going to select this lips layer. Drag it onto the timeline. Rescale it to fit inside the composition window. Let's open the composition. So here are all the lips. And with this, this is the background. Let's cut the background from this composition. We can use the shortcut key Ctrl plus X and paste it in this composition. Press Ctrl plus V and pull it below. So there is the lip listing over here. In this composition, we are going to use this composition just for preview during the animation process. But before that, we have to rig the lips. So get inside the lips composition, select all the layers and trim it. Just give it one frame for this layer. For that, press Alt and press the third bracket to trim the layer from the end. After that, Right click on it, go to keyframe assistant, sequence layers, press OK. And right now, these are properly sequenced. After that, we can drag it like this and just extend the last frame like this. And let's bring the work area end over here at the end of this layer. After that, go to Composition and then Trim Comp to Work Area. That is going to trim the composition till this point. All right. So after that, right click on this Lips Composition. Go to Time, Enable Time Remapping. So now we are going to apply an effect on this layer called Slider Control. Right click on it, go to effects, go to expression controls, click on slider control. And after that, we are going to pick whip this time remap with this slider and slightly edit the expression a bit. Type in A equal to this value. Press enter and type in another line. Frames to time and let's give it A. All right. So after that, if you select this layer and move it, you can see the lips positions are changing depending on the value of the slider. But after this, nothing is there. So let's edit the value of the slider that is because it's 100, but here in the number of lips, it's only 13 of them. Let's skip one extra and let's edit the value of this slider. 
simply right click on it click on edit value and we're going to select the start 0 and this end as 14 press ok then try to move it and right now it's perfectly working so to animate the lips you simply have to move this slider and you can animate the lip sync and right now the lips are rigged after that let's import an audio to see how we can animate the lip sync so let's add the audio over here let's open the waveform and let's put or start the wave from somewhere around here hey guys whoop. let's animate till here now it would be very difficult to switch in between and check which pose is which one but for that we can simply lock this composition window after that double click on this lip listing to open it in a single or a separate window then we are going to simply drag it and snap it over here and right now we can see both the windows together while working on this one hey guys so it's telling hey so let's check out which lip position we can use we can use this one e maybe something similar pronunciation or something close so we can use this one let's select this layer and go to effects control and let's type in the number it's two let's type in two well two would be this one because we have to give it lesser than this particular number let's type in 1.9 and we are going to get this previous one put a keyframe over here press u to open the property with keyframe and before that we are going to give it one or the neutral pose let's give it zero all right so we are going to select both the keyframes and simply convert it into hold keyframes for that press and hold both Control plus alt and simply click on it to convert it into hold keyframe and right now this lip is starting to animate hey guys hey let's add this e over here we can use 9.5 or maybe 9.9 .9. it should be in between 9 to 10 let's give it 9.9 .9. guys and for that G, we can use this particular lip pose. Let's add 4.5. Guys. And then we can use A. And let's use 1.9. Guys. And then for S, we can use this one. All right, let's check. Hey guys, so that is it for this lesson. Until then, goodbye.